Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, so this is my testimony. Before coming to Christ, I was a blasphemer. <laughs> uh, a blasphemer, a liar, a thief, and an adulterer. I practiced different forms of witchcraft, mainly for reading. I made idols out of cards, incense, crystals. I believed I was capable of manifestation and healing through massage therapy and energy techniques that I learned while I was in school. Um, I cared very little for much. I just wanted to live my life freely without thinking about it. For example, you know, by doing what I desired to do, like partying, drinking, drugs, premarital sex. Um, as Apostle Paul says in Romans 1.18, for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. But in September 2019, I was assaulted and conceived my daughter. But as for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good, in order that, in order to bring about it, as it is this day, to save many people alive. I was then persuaded to come to Cornerstone Church. And I began to come in November to the small group until February of 2020, when I first came to service for the first time. It was the first time I had heard, truly heard the gospel in full. For the first time, I felt like I finally understood the love displayed by God, and that He sent His only Son to be a propitiation for my sins and suffer even to the point of death on the cross. I then saw the gravity of my sins. I began to understand that I deserved the full penalty for my sins and death. By that instead I was shown grace by God through his through this gift of salvation instead. I repented of my sins and continued to repent. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I began to come to Cornerstone faithfully until COVID hit, at which point I watched faithfully from home and I was discipled by Miss Sharma on the attributes of God. The Lord was gracious in allowing us all to come together once again in the beginning of summer. And after I gave birth to Aaron, I was able to return among the brethren in July. Since then, we've attended church and grew faithfully. I've worked on my communion with the Lord and actively sought to find a sister to do accountability with each week. It has been a huge blessing and encouragement for the both of us. I welcome counseling from elders, whereas before I was reluctant to reach out for help. I'm thankful for each and every opportunity I have to serve the sisters and brethren as I'm able. And the Lord has graciously allowed me to grow in my knowledge throughout the past year and have a hunger to continue to grow and mature in the faith through the help of my sisters in Christ who I love dearly and I'm thankful for. It has been the biggest blessing and means of grace in having a church where we fellowship with each other and love one another. And I just wanted to encourage us with Hebrews 10, 23 to 25. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of son, some, but exhorting one another, and so much more, so much more, so much the more as you see the day approaching. Amen. <laughs> Great joy that the Lord has brought Emery to us. And I know for those of you who have known Emery and served with Emery over the time that she's been here, it's been a tremendous blessing to see the Lord work in her and to get to know her better. We're so grateful to be here. I'm grateful for what the Lord has already done in your life. So, uh, based upon Emery's profession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, turning from sin, uh, to trust Christ alone for salvation, and based upon her commitment to serve Christ as a member of the Lord and Baptist Church, it's our joy to baptize our sister in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism.